Hey guys, this is Marja here on YouTube. Today I wanted to do a makeup tutorial. Um, this is a makeup thing that I have been doing lately and I kind of been loving it. So yeah, I'm just jun gonna jump right into everything. First thing we're gonna do is apply a base to our eyes. This is Bare Study Paint Pot by MAC. I'm just applying it with my ring finger onto my eyelid going up to my eyebrow. Like that. It's a really simple makeup, um, but it's quite nice. It's really pretty and really easy to do. So, first color we're going to be using is Paradisco. This is a MAC eyeshadow. Uh, it's kind of a curl color. Um, it's really pretty. So, I'm just taking that to a flat synthetic brush, just because it's the only one I have right onto, right next to me. And I am applying that to my eyelid. It's a really pretty color. I love this color. It has gold flecks on it, so looks great, gorgeous. Now I'm taking a base eyeshadow brush by um, Real Techniques and I'm taking Cork by MAC which is a satin light brown color. This is a really pretty color, I love it. Great for everyday contouring, eye contouring thing. But yeah, I'm just taking that through my crease. Nothing too crazy, just take it through your crease. And after you take it to your crease, you want to blend it out. I'm going to blend it. This is a random brush that I have. It's a blending brush and it's great for blending. Uh, my eyes are quite small, so I need something like 217 by MAC uh, to blend my eyeshadow because if not it will go just everywhere and it won't look good. So yeah, that just goes there. You blend. Then I'm taking a highlighter. This is my Revlon Color Stay Powder in medium deep and I'm taking that through my brow bone to highlight with a Frolian 3.8 brush. Looks like that. I'm just taking this through my brow bone. With this it will be much easier to blend the rest of the eyeshadow if you feel like you need to blend more. Okay, like that. Then I'm taking Chocolate Chip by Clinique. Um, this is a Stay Matte um, eyeshadow. And again, I'm taking the same brush, the base eyeshadow brush. And just taking it on the tip of the brush. And taking that to the outer corner of my eye and then blend that out. Literally just try to stay there in the outer corner of your eye. Then this is the complete look kind of thing. This is Midnight Blues by MAC. This is a gel eyeliner. This is great. I love this stuff. I love the um, eyeliners by MAC. I'm just taking a little bit and placing it onto my hand like that so it won't dry out that far that easily 
and then I'm just gonna do my eyeliner. Um, you can do your eyeliner whatever way you want. I'm gonna do it quite thin and then go to a wing. So, yeah, I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm taking a little bit more just to apply to both of my eyes to make it darker, to make it appear more blue. Kind of appears kind of greeny color, but it, either way you can use a green or a blue and it will look great. Because the coral color is quite neutral. So it will be like crazy. What the hell is my sister listening to? A few more coats, around two or three coats. And Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. <sighs> First thing I do is sharpen my pencil. I use Taupe Eyebrow Pencil by NYX. And actually I'm going to just brush them, brush them through. Like that. So yeah, just keep on filling your eyebrows. Nothing too crazy. And just softening any edges I might have on my eyebrows. Then I'm taking the Sleek Brow Kit in Dark. Um, this has a wax part, which is right there, and a powder. Actually, wax part and then a powder. And I'm taking an angled brush like this one. This is a London Media Makeup. I got this from my school when I went to London. And it's great. So I'm just going to start filling from the arch down. And that's a car. And my family is quite, quite scandalous. Not a scandalous for gossip or anything like that though. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And then what I do, I kind of clean off a little bit my brush and take the powder side I just got the wet side again take the powder side and then just fill in the rest of my eyebrows really lightly um, I don't go too crazy with it just to kind of set the wax in place and make it not move at all because nobody likes when their eyebrows melt so yeah, just stick it there, stick it there. Hi. Um, I'm gonna put concealer. I don't know where my concealer is. This is the Garnier Roll-On Concealer for anti-dark circles, and I'm just taking that and applying it underneath my eyes like that, like a crazy person. That's the best way to do things. And then I'm just taking it and just blending it out.
like that. Um, I like a natural face. I don't like to apply foundation every day. But if I do, I will apply a moisturizer with my foundation, mix it in, and then apply it to my face. Uh, next, I'm taking my Stila Convertible Color. So I'm just going to take the orange one, which I don't know where it is. But anyway, this is Lilium. And I'm taking this through my cheeks. This looks gorgeous. And then I'm taking a dual fiber brush and then just blending it in. And then take my finger and just finish blending it. Now I'm going to take Mauve by NYX, really pretty mauve color, and then my brush, my angled brush, and apply that to my cheeks. I like to apply the Stila Convertible first because this will stick and it will last me around 6 or 8 hours. It depends on the activities I'm doing and if I rub my face. Now I'm taking my... should be in here powder brush and then just blend that out a little bit and taking my powder again uh, I don't know where the hell it went oh yeah here it is the medium dark this is the Revlon color stay one and just apply it to the cheeks so it will kind of erase any kind of crazy coloring in my going and then I'm taking my sleek contour kit face contour kit and I'm taking the contour color and just apply it a little bit underneath. I don't blend it just yet, so don't worry. To my jawline, a little bit to my temples, sorry about that. So yeah, and then I take again the powder brush and blend. And I'm taking the highlight colors and just highlighting my cheekbones and again the powder brush is just to blend everything in I love this powder brush, it's amazing uh, then for lips, I am taking Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Peach Perfect Perfect, I don't know how to say it and then I'm just Placing that to my lips. They're quite dry, so yeah. But basically, that's the whole look. I'm just gonna finish it, my eyes, and put some mascara on the bottom lashes because I do that after concealer and I completely forgot. And I love to apply mascara to my bottom lashes because my eyes are quite small so yeah that's basically the whole look i hope you guys liked it and i will be seeing you later bye